Star Wars Battlefront 2 modding recently got better with the release of a new version of the Frosty Mod Manager. And on my videos, I've had a ton of people comment, how do I install this new version? Will I lose all of my previous mod lists? How do I get these new mods that take advantage of this new Frosty Mod Manager to work? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to install it and answering all of the questions you've been sending me over the last few weeks. To get started, there will be two links in the description, one for the Frosty Alpha download and the localization plugin from Mophead. So you wanna head and download the Frosty Tools Alpha right here on this Mediafire link, and then go ahead and download the localization editor from Mophead, and that is a Nexus mod link. So you can find this on Nexus Mods, and download the string merger file. Once they've downloaded, you need to extract both of these folders. For me personally, I just extracted the Frosty Mod Manager to my desktop. That's just because of ease of access. That's where Frosty Mod Manager lives on my computer, but you can choose anywhere to put it. And then you need to extract the localization plugin as well. This doesn't have to be on your desktop because you're gonna be just dragging a file. So you need to open the Frosty Mod Manager folder that you've extracted, go to plugins, and you'll see the same file name from the localization extracted folder. And you just need to drag that over to the Frosty Mod Manager plugins folder and replace it. Then you can go ahead and open Frosty Mod Manager and just allow it through administrator to actually open. And then you need to find Star Wars Battlefront 2. Where is it installed? Well, if you hit scan for games, it may find it. If it doesn't, hit new and then choose where you installed the game. For me, it's on my C drive, program files, origin games, and it's there and then just select it. And then you will need to boot Battlefront 2 up from origin. So open origin, open Battlefront 2 up, and then Frosty Mod Manager can work with it. It does take a little bit of time to actually make this work. This is just sped up, it's cut down. Just leave it a few minutes and it will create the SDK. Then you can open the Frosty Mod Manager and install mods just like you previously did on older versions. Just drag over the mods and they will install. These are two mods that only work with the alpha version. So you just select them like you normally would to enable them, hit launch and the game will launch with these mods enabled. Upon launching, you'll get this message, just accept it and it will install the new mod data folder in your Battlefront 2 folder. If you do encounter any issues during this process, just delete the mod data folder in your Battlefront 2 folder and launch from Frosty once again, and then it will go through this process again. If you are using the Epic Games, Steam or EA desktop beta version of the game, make sure you use this tool. If you haven't used this tool before, download it, follow the on-screen instructions and it will allow you to work it. Personally, I don't use any of the other versions of Battlefront 2, I only use the Origin version, so this doesn't apply to me. One last question that I'm gonna answer, it's a big concern I've seen a lot of you guys have, is will this version of Frosty replace my previous version? I've built up months worth of mod lists, I don't want to have to go through and lose them all. Don't worry, it's a separate installation. You can literally have both versions on your computer at the same time, and then you select which one you want. So if you want to use new mods that take advantage of the alpha version, but if you are having issues and you don't want to lose any of your mod lists and stuff like that, you won't need to uninstall the old version or delete it or anything because it will be there and you can use it whenever you like. If you're having issues when trying to use the alpha version of Frosty and then switching back to the older version, delete mod data in your Battlefront 2 folder and that may resolve it. You might have to do this each time when you switch back and forth between the two versions of Frosty. I hope you found this video useful and if you did make sure you do subscribe and turn notifications on for more Battlefront 2 mod videos from me and drop a like to help support the video and comment below which mods are you going to be using with this new version of Frosty. I'd love to hear it and I hope it did help. Thanks for watching. Check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them and I shall see you in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.